What is up YouTube? We're underleveled. My name is Taka and today I'm going to be going over four of the best ways to farm your hunter rank in Monster Hunter Rise. Now our last video was the easiest way but this time we're going to be going over the fastest ways. So I'm going to be going over four methods that'll get you as many hunter rank points per hunt as possible. Now if there's any other ways that you farm hunter rank then feel free to leave it in the comments down below and share it with others. After I go over the top 4 best hunter rank farming activities, I'll also go over what weapon I suggest using if you want low risk, safe runs. I mean, it was really easy to use with little to no stress at all. To put it into perspective, I actually never used this weapon once before the update, but I was able to use it with great success on my first try, and now I absolutely love how easy and safe it makes my hunts. I'll explain the weapon and my build I use after the guide. But I'll leave a timestamp in the description down below just in case you want to skip to that part. Alright, now onto the top 4 ways to farm your hunter rank in Monster Hunter Rise. Let's get right to it, shall we? Going in order, I started with farming Narwa. Yes, the thunder snake that we're probably all sick of farming by now. But when your hunter rank is still relatively low, Narwa is a great farm. While you don't get Lazarite, you do get outfit vouchers and of course a lot of talisman materials. So I personally think Narwa is still relevant and excellent for farming some hunter rank. Then I suggest hunting some Apex monsters. I really enjoyed farming Apex Azuros. I think he's pretty easy and he gives a good amount of hunter rank points. Also, he gives Lazarite jewels, which is really nice. This is great for farming around hunter rank 30 through 70, but any Apex monster hunts are great actually. Next is farming the new Elder Dragons. The three new Elder Dragons are great for farming up your hunter rank, and I personally feel like they're far more manageable than in past games, which makes farming them far less stressful and very rewarding, because they can give you Lazarite jewels and outfit vouchers alongside a good amount of hunter rank points. Finally, when you feel like nothing else is giving you enough hunter rank points, then try giving the 7 star high rank Apex Diablos or Apex Rathalos Rampage a shot. Getting S plus or even S rank in the Apex Diablos or Apex Rathalos Rampages give an incredible amount of hunter rank points, but it also gives you those defender tickets that's great for talisman materials. Which is why I personally feel like this is the best method for farming hunter rank right now. But if there's a farming method that you enjoy doing, whether it's faster or more enjoyable, then leave it in the comments down below and share it with others. I would love to hear them and try them out as well. Now, let's talk about the weapon that I suggest using for safer, less sweaty hunts. The weapon I'm going to suggest is the light bowgun. Now, if you're raising your eyebrow in suspicion, j just hang on and bear with me for a bit longer and I'll explain why and exactly what you'll need to get started doing easy, relaxing hunts. Now again, you should use whatever weapon you like and have fun with, but for me personally, and maybe you're the same, sometimes I struggle with some of the harder monsters, but this weapon really helps me keep out of danger while doing good damage. I like it because it's safe and not as sweaty as other weapons. So we all know that the light bowgun is great and an excellent mix of mobility, power, and range. It's these three characteristics that make it a great weapon to hang back where it's safe and just kite the monster. And what's great is that anyone could pick up the light bowgun and just start getting good results. It's a very beginner friendly weapon and I mean that in the most respectful way. I mean, check this out. Here's my weapon stats when the 2.0 update came out. I never even touched the light bowgun before, but I was able to pick it up and use it with great success. And I'm a slow learner, so I know that you'll be able to do much better than me if you decide to try it out. Okay, now I'll show you my light bowgun build that I use for all these farming methods. So here are the armor pieces that I use. Besides the Anjanath coil, which needs an Anjanath gem, the rest of them are relatively easy to make. Now if you plan on trying this out, your build might be slightly different depending on what talismans you have. My talisman had spare shot level 2 with a level 3 and level 1 deco slot. And here are the decorations that I use. You can always swap them out for other skills depending on what you like. And here's my final build. It's great for hitting monsters from a safe distance. So I hope you found this video helpful and I hope you're enjoying this new update as much as we are. 
If you enjoyed this video, then don't forget to hit that like button as well as subscribe and turn on the bell for notifications for more Monster Hunter Rise content. But thank you for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye.